accurate local forecast starts now with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. I uh, really like this uh, weather. Check out uh, Chambersburg, Gettysburg, Hanover, Shippensburg. We can see the leaves blowing around. A nice north or northwest breeze giving us much drier air. Temperatures only into the mid 80s. That's right, about a 10 to even 15 degree temperature change. And without the humidity, it feels good. But I'm sure a lot of us are thinking, yeah, but when's our next chance for rain? It is dry. And I want to go back and show you what it looks like here over the weekend. This is the total rainfall for Saturday and Sunday. And some of us are probably thinking, what rain? Well, there, there were a few storms that managed to move through both Saturday and Sunday, mainly across the Capitol Beltway. So we're talking eastern Cumberland County into much of the Harrisburg area. And then as you get farther east, I'd say the northern half of uh, Lancaster County toward E-Town, a Manchester area, York County. That's where you're able to see at least some rain. Now I want to show you these are the top sites in our WeatherNet uh, community. We've got Wormleysburg over two inches. This is for the month of June. Fawn Grove, Edders, and Lancaster, about an inch and a half to two inches. Could certainly see more, but not bad. Now, here's the other end where we're not seeing much at all. I mean, we've got Gettysburg not even registering two tenths of an inch for the entire month. Halifax, Mifflintown, Carlisle, all about a half inch of rain. So, yes, we are looking for rain. Or maybe it's just me. Well, let's talk about it. As we get the northerly flow that's happening now, we're still dry and comfortable. It's a gorgeous, pleasant evening, and tonight's going to be comfortable too. Give that air conditioner a little bit of a rest because we'll need it again. Matter of fact, let's zoom out to show you a triple digits. These are air temperatures, not what it feels like. Omaha right now is 100, Kansas City at 97. That heat will begin to build again eastward and stretch east. We're not looking at 100, but perhaps hitting 95 on Wednesday. Possible that will be ahead of the front on Wednesday. So let's show you that as we go through tomorrow, not much change other than a little more heat, a little more humidity. We're going for a high of 90 tomorrow. We're still dry, but we will watch Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. Watch heading into Wednesday afternoon. It starts to show some development, but eventually a line pushing through. I still don't think this is a guarantee that all of us see rain, but it's possible that it is going to be our best chance of at least seeing some four parts of the mid state. Then the heat breaks again Thursday and Friday. We get back to hot conditions, perhaps some scattered afternoon storms on Saturday, and then we're back to that heat again on Sunday. So certainly the ups and downs here as we wrap up June, moving into July. But at this point, I think all of us are just looking for a little bit of rain. It's so yes, true. indeed. Yeah. yeah, thanks so much, Eric. And coming up.